Hey everyone, thanks a lot for stopping by. I hope you had a great week because I know if you're sober and you're taking it one day at a time, I know your week was pretty damn good because mine was pretty damn good. It wasn't perfect, but I'm sober today and that's what makes it great that I'm able to live one day at a time without the use of alcohol or drugs in my life. And I've done that for many years and that's what this channel is about, alcohol-free life. It's about taking life one day at a time sober. That's what it's about doing and how to live one day at a time without the use of alcohol and drugs. So if you're doing that, believe me, your week might not have been that great, but you are doing recovery 100%. And I'm proud of you. I'm very proud of you, okay? So if you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I really appreciate it and smash that like button. In early sobriety, what I want to talk about today, in early sobriety, we have low self-worth, a lot of us. There's a lot of problems going on. I know for myself, I was in, had court charges, I had collectors after me. I had a really hard time getting employment. I had very little money. I didn't have much going for me in early sobriety. As time went forward, things started to get better. And what this, what I want to talk about is selling ourselves out. That's what I want to talk about. A lot of us do this. We sell ourselves short. We really do. Being sober one day at a time is a gigantic accomplishment in itself. Do you know how many people never make it to the rooms of recovery or never think about changing their lives? They're too busy on blaming other people and not being responsible for their behavior or where they are in their lives. And if you're doing those things, that's a gigantic accomplishment. So what I'm trying to say is that we have something to be proud of each and every day of our lives. And that is simply our sobriety and our ability and our effort that we are doing to change our lives. So when life gets tough for you, don't sell yourself out. Don't do that. Embrace your recovery. It's a miracle that you are even, be, are even sober. It's a miracle for me. Guys like me, and guys and gals like you, we're not supposed to be sober. We're not supposed to have regular lives and happy families and all that kind of stuff. And what I used to do in sobriety a lot, in early sobriety, somebody come up to me and give me a compliment in my life. Like, oh, Terry, you're looking pretty good. You know, you're going to school, you know, we'll have accomplishments. And I never embraced those compliments. I always used to push them off too with people. Well, you know, don't worry. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for, you know, Joe helping me out, I wouldn't be able to get there. You know, I sell, always selling myself out or making an excuse for even the good things in my life. And I hope that makes sense to you. I stopped doing that, making excuses for myself when it came to my accomplishments. The reason I am sober, the reason I have this video channel and I have a car and I have education, the reason I have all this is because I got off my ass and I did something about myself. I did something about my life and something that you should empower yourself and embrace that, that you are great just the way you are. Stop selling yourselves out. We talk about abandonment and recovery. We talk about all this stuff, but we abandoned ourselves. When things are going good, we don't even, we don't even have enough self-worth to embrace a compliment. Somebody walks up to you and says, nice car. Oh yeah, it's a nice car, but you know, I have to pay for it for the next eight years. Well, that takes all the joy out of the compliment or all the, all the joy of having a car. Somebody gives you a compliment and says, hey, Terry G, that's a nice car. You know, that is a nice car. I like my car. Embrace those compliments. Don't sell it or take it that it doesn't mean anything. Embrace it embrace it and I used to do that all the time I made excuses about my life when it was going well because I was so I don't know so self-worth no self-worth or whatever it was I always made some excuse nowadays I don't do that I don't say a little tagline when somebody gives me a compliment I don't do that I say thank you very much yeah I got yeah nice nice ball cap thank you there's no other tagline that goes through. Yeah, I worked hard for you. Yeah, I saved up $20 to buy a hat. No, just thank you very much. I stopped selling myself out. I stopped abandoning myself. We need to do that. We need to love ourselves 
embrace the good things we're doing in our lives and embrace those. Because if we do that, we start having balance in our lives. We start being able to love ourselves and to accept ourselves when we're not so lovable or we can't, you know, we're sort of not have it together for lesser words, but we need to do that. And I hope this video makes sense to you because it makes perfectly sense to me. It's about selling ourselves out or falling on our sword all the time. You know, it's always me who's wrong. I'm the problem. I'm, I'm the issue here. It's not true. If we want people to respect us, if we want people to, to like us, to encourage us, to be there in our times of need, we need to do that for ourselves. We need to do that for ourselves. Life in sobriety is not always a walk on coals. We can talk about our accomplishments. We can embrace those accomplishments. We can say to ourselves, I feel lonely, I feel angry, but I'm not gonna sell myself out. I'm gonna self care. I'm gonna go to meetings. I'm not gonna let myself down. I feel terrible, but I'm gonna trudge along and I'm gonna do well at what I'm doing right now. We need to do that. It boosts our self-esteem. It makes us more aware of our needs. It makes us appreciate and it makes us have balance and get a handle on gratitude for our lives. The way we talk to ourselves, the way we handle ourselves out there has a lot to do with, with the way we feel about ourselves. It really does. So when somebody gives you a compliment, just embrace it. Yeah, I did that. I went to school. I am sober for two years. I did clean up my act. I'm proud of myself. Thank you very much. Yeah, I did that. Thank you. No excuses, no negative self-talk embrace it and when times get rough don't abandon ourselves we always feel lonely we always feel left out we feel unloved you know why because we abandon ourselves we need to look inside and love ourselves and embrace the great things about us embrace the great things about who you are and you'll see that the bad things or the negative things that you don't like are not so bad anymore or don't have the volume or the, the, the loudness in your life that they used to have, okay? I hope this video makes sense because it makes perfectly sense to me. It's about selling ourselves short, okay? Quit doing it. Quit doing it. You are perfect just the way you are. I always like to say, Terry G, you're perfectly imperfect okay so thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video if you could take a second can you please subscribe to my channel hit that like button okay and if you don't like my video or you like my video whatever way you have it leave a comment in the comments below but you know it's really nice to be sober it's really nice to be able to reach out and build awareness about sobriety because that's what this channel is all about okay i'll see you all next week god bless Take care. We're all in this together. This is Terry G. Peace over and out. Ciao for now.